Hi, I'm Eric Curran, driver of the number 31 Wheeling Corvette, and we're here at Kansas Speedway, and I'm going to take you around for a few laps and show you the track, show you the facility, and uh, show you how excited we are to come back here in August of 2013 with the Grand Am Rolex and Grand Am Continental Series. So here we are exiting uh, pit lane. Typically in the race car, we have the pit lane speed limiter on about 45 miles an hour. We re release the speed limiter here right at the uh, pit exit line. And here we are, exit of pit lane onto the racetrack here, headed into uh, turn one. You'll see on the next lap, uh, I'll show you uh, how we come into turn one, but exiting pit lane, nice tight left-hander here. Let the car track out a bit to the right side of the track. Come back to the left, get set up for turn two, which is a right-hander. Use a little bit of rumble strip here on the right. We head back for turn three. Start to pick up some speed, exiting turn three onto the first of the infield uh, straight line, just uh, straight line acceleration here, pulling through the gears. In the race car, we're just watching for those shift lights to come up and pulling through the gears here. And then we do hard braking, probably from fourth gear, downshifting third, downshifting into second. Stay way out to the left side. It's a late apex corner hairpin. Late apex here, a little bit of rumbles, track out to the left side. Again, second gear, accelerating hard out. Up shifting to third, looking for those shift lights. Fourth gear, we'll be up uh, somewhere about maybe 120 miles an hour or so in our uh, Wheel and Corvette GT car. Up shift to fifth, and this is a fast right-hander here. Um, we'll be braking about halfway through the right-hander, right about here, hard on the brakes. Down shift from fifth down to second gear, again similar to the last hairpin, real late apex. You got to be careful here on the track out. You can only track out so far here, and you've got a big abrupt transition up into the banking, so you got to stay right here on the apron. Second gear, third gear, watching those shift lights, fourth gear, fifth gear or so. And if you look here, you'll see the, the painted lines here. You want to track out about where the dotted lines start after the solid yellow. Track out to the right side, and you're up on NASCAR banking. In our GT car, we're shifting to six gear about here, about probably 140 miles an hour or so. And this is just flat on the gas. Nice thing about Kansas Speedway is it's all freshly paved and it's fast. Um, GT Corvette, you're flat on the gas all the way around here. Uh, you know, Daytona Prototype, the same type of thing. They're flat on the gas all the way through here. Um, typically about mid-track. Um, Tracking out as you exit out of the banking here, tracking up, keeping the wheel nice and straight as you can. Track up to the wall or so, staying up close to the wall. Pretty much an NASCAR line there for a little bit. We come into uh, the start finish line here, six gear in our, in our wheel and Corvette. You touch about 170 miles an hour or so. And you kind of got to come down to the apron here, much different than the NASCAR line. Your brake zone started about where this yellow solid line is here. This brake marker is on the, on the fence here, Must be might be tough to see. Hard on the brakes, sixth gear, down a, all the way down to second gear. Again, another late apex, real tight left-hander. A little bit of rumbles, let the car track out mid-track, back to the left, back to the right, turn two, up over the rumbles, back to the left, starting to accelerate hard, exiting turn three. Again, nice and smooth at Kansas Speedway, beautiful facility. Track all the way out to the right side, and then you're just pulling through the gears, watching those shift lights. Probably accelerating it up to about 120 miles an hour or so. They haven't got any brake markers up here for us yet, but uh, I'm sure that they'll be coming by race time. Stay all the way to the left, second gear. Again, late apex. Up over the rumbles. Track all the way out to left side. Accelerate hard on the way out. Second gear, third gear. Fourth gear, again about uh, you know 120 miles an hour or so through the infield section here. You're up to fifth gear, fast sweeping right hander. Um, about halfway through, you're you're looking for a break point. Hard on the brakes here. Back down to second gear, stay the right side of the track. Again, real late apex hairpin. Little bit of curbing on the inside. Let the car track out here. Don't get up on that transitional banking there. Again, second gear, accelerating hard, full throttle all the way through this apron. You don't want to get up on that transition. That'll really upset the car. So you got to basically stay, by grand name rules, we're going to stay to the left side of this yellow painted line all the way down and just straighten out the wheel and kind of make a diagonal up onto the banking here, uh, back up uh, onto the NASCAR oval here. And again, just second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. Uh, before you get into this banking, and you're just flat on the gas through here. 
I would say, you know, 150 miles an hour or so all the way through the banking. And uh, again, it's, it's a fast track, but dead smooth, beautiful facility. This is going to be a lot of fun when we come back here next year. So really looking forward to it. It's only a 45 degree day, day today, so not a lot of grip, but um, still uh, having a good time and having a blast at uh, Kansas Speedway. Looking forward to the race. Back into pit lane. Down on the pit speed limiter. Down on 45 miles an hour. And there you are, folks. Kansas Speedway. Great place.